The Earl of Orkney was originally a Norse jarl ruling Orkney, Shetland and parts of Caithness and Sutherland. The earls were periodically subject to the kings of Norway for the Northern Isles, and later also to the kings of Alba for those parts of their territory in mainland Scotland. The earl's status as a Norwegian vassal was formalised in 1195. In 1232, a Scottish dynasty descended from the Mormars of Angus replaced the previous family descended from the Mormars of Athol, although it remained formally subject to Norway. This family was in turn replaced by the descendants of the Mormars of Strathern and later still by the Sinclair family during whose time Orkney passed to Scots control. Norse Earls Roggenvold I. Steinson, Earl of Moore, Florida, 865-890 is sometimes credited with being the founder of the earldom. By implication the Orkneying saga identifies him as such for he is given dominion over Orkney and Shetland by King Harold Finehair. Although there is no concrete suggestion he ever held the title, the Heimskringla states that to his brother Sigurd was the first to formally hold the title. Sigurd's son Guthorm ruled for a year and died childless. Roggenwald's son Hallard then inherited the title. However, unable to constrain Danish raids on Orkney, he gave up the earldom and returned to Norway which everyone thought was a huge joke. Torfina then succeeded in defeating the Danes and founded a dynasty which retained control of the islands for centuries after his death. Smith concludes that the role of the brothers Einsteinson lacks historical credibility and that Torfina may be regarded as the first historical Earl of Orkney drawing on Adam of Bremen's assertion that Orkney was not conquered until the time of Harald Hardrada, who ruled Norway from 1043 to 66. Wolf speculates that Sigurd the Stout, Lord Viersen, Torfina's great-grandson, may have been the first Earl of Orkney. Dates are largely conjectural, at least until his death recorded in 1014. Assuming Torfina is a genuine historical figure, all of the subsequent earls were descended from him, save for Sigurd Magnusson, whose short rule was imposed by his father Magnus Berlegs, and who later became Sigurd I of Norway. One of the main sources for the lives and times of these earls is the Orkneying saga, which has been described as having no parallel in the social and literary record of Scotland. One of the key events of the saga is the martyrdom of Earl Magnus Erlinson, later Saint Magnus, 1115. The last quarter of the saga is taken up with a lengthy tale of Earl Roggenvold Carly Colson and Swain Aslefson. Indeed, the oldest version ends with the latter's death in 1171. After the murder of Earl John Haraldson some sixty years later, Magnus, son of Gile Brigter became the first of the Scottish earls. He may have been a descendant of Earl Roggenvold Carly Colson, although this has never been corroborated, and was a descendant of Earl Harold Madadson on his mother's side. However, the line of specifically Norse earls is said to have come to an end when Earl Magnus II was granted his title by Harkon IV of Norway c. 1236. Scottish Earls under the Norwegian Crown The Angus Earls in 1236, Magnus, son of Gile Brigta, Mormar of Angus, was granted the Earldom of Orkney by King Harkon Harkonsen, Magnus, son of Gile Brigta, 1236-1239, Gile Brigta, son of Magnus, 1239. Gile Brigta, son of Gile Brigta, perhaps the same as the previous Gile Brigta, minus 1256. Magnus, son of Gile Brigta, 1256 to 1273. Magnus Magnuson, 1273 to 1284. John Magnuson, 1284 c. 1300. Magnus Johnson, 1300 to 1321. Strathern and Sinclair Earls Some time after Magnus Johnson's death, around 1331, the earldom was granted to Maoiosa, Mormar of Strathern, a distant relative of the first earl Gile Brigter. Maoiosa ruled Orkney and Caithness from 1331 to 1350. 
He left several daughters, but no sons. Orkney passed to his son-in-law, the Swedish councillor Ering Eilsonson. Another son-in-law, Alexander Derald, ruled as Earl of Caithness from 1350 until 1375, when the earldom passed to the King of the Scots. In 1379, the Earldom of Orkney, without Kate Ness, was granted to another son-in-law of Maoiosa, Henry Sinclair, by King Harkon VI Magnuson. Earl Henry ruled until his death in 1401, and was succeeded by a son named Henry, who was followed by his son Earl William, to whom the Earldom of Caithness was granted by the King of Scots in 1455. However, Orkney and Shetland were pledged to James III in place of a dowry for his bride Margaret of Denmark by Christian I. James took the Earldom of Orkney for the crown in 1470 and William was thereafter Earl of Caithness alone until he resigned the earldom in favour of his son William in 1476, dying in 1484. Maoiosa, 1331-1350. Ering Isle Soonson, 1353 1353-1357. Alexander Derald, 1350-1375. Henry Sinclair, 1379-1401. Henry Sinclair, 1401, William Sinclair, Scottish Earls. The next Orkney title was the Dukedom of Orkney, which was given to James Hepburn, 4th Earl of Bothwell, husband of Mary, Queen of Scots, in 1567. Later that year, however, he forfeited the title when his wife was forced to abdicate. The second creation of the title was for Lord Robert Stuart, an illegitimate son of King James V. His successor Patrick, however, forfeited the title. The last creation of the earldom was in favour of the man who would become the first British Field Marshal, Lord George Hamilton, the fifth son of William Douglas, Duke of Hamilton. By marriage, the title passed to the O'Brien family, then to the Fitzmaurice family, and finally to the St. John family. The present Earl holds the subsidiary titles of Viscount of Kirkwall and Lord Deckmont. Both subsidiary titles were created at the same time as the Earldom, in 1696. Dukes of Orkney James Hepburn, 1st Duke of Orkney, Earls of Orkney, 2nd Creation Robert Stuart, 1st Earl of Orkney, Patrick Stuart, 2nd Earl of Orkney, Earls of Orkney, 3rd Creation The 3rd Creation came in 1696 when the soldier, Lord George Hamilton was made Lord Deckmont, Viscount of Kirkwall and Earl of Orkney in the Peerage of Scotland. The peerages were created with remainder to the heirs whatsoever of his body, which means that the titles can be passed on through both male and female lines. Lord Orkney was succeeded by his eldest daughter Anne, the second countess. She married her first cousin William O'Brien, 4th Earl of Inchiquin. On her death the titles passed to her daughter, the third countess. She married her second cousin Mara O'Brien, 1st Marquess of Thomond. She was succeeded by her daughter, the 4th Countess. She married the Hon. Thomas Fitzmaurice, 2nd son of John Petty, 1st Earl of Shelbourne and younger brother of Prime Minister William Petty, 1st Marquess of Lansdowne. On her death the titles passed to her grandson, Viscount Kirkwall's son, the 5th Earl. He sat in the House of Lords as a Scottish representative peer from 1833 to 1874. His son, the 6th Earl, was a Scottish representative peer from 1885 to 1889. He was succeeded by his nephew, the 7th Earl. On his death the peerages passed to his first cousin twice removed, the 8th Earl. He was the great-grandson of the Hon. Frederick Fitzmaurice, third son of the 5th Earl. The succession was approved by the court of the Lord Leon in 1955. He died childless and was succeeded by his third cousin, the 9th Earl. He is the son of Frederick Oliver St. John, son of Isabella Annie Fitzmaurice, daughter of the Hon. James Terence Fitzmaurice, 5th son of the 5th Earl of Orkney. Lord Orkney lives in Canada and has been a professor at the University of Manitoba. 
His paternal grandfather Sir Frederick Robert St. John was the youngest son of the Hon. Ferdinand St. John, third son of George St. John, third Viscount Bolingbroke and fourth Viscount St. John. Consequently, Lord Orkney is also in remainder to the Viscounties of Bolingbroke and St. John in their subsidiary titles. George Hamilton, 1st Earl of Orkney, Anne O'Brien, 2nd Countess of Orkney, Mary O'Brien, 3rd Countess of Orkney, Mary Fitzmaurice, 4th Countess of Orkney, Thomas John Hamilton Fitzmaurice, 5th Earl of Orkney, George William Hamilton Fitzmaurice, 6th Earl of Orkney, Edmund Walter Fitzmaurice, 7th Earl of Orkney, Cecil O'Brien Fitzmaurice, 8th Earl of Orkney, Oliver Peter St. John, 9th Earl of Orkney. The heir apparent is the present holder's son Oliver Robert St. John, Viscount Kirkwall.